Hey guys, um, this one, what I wanted to do was uh, uh, go ahead and get a lot of bug fixes done on our monsters, make sure everything is working uh, as designed, uh, making sure that, that uh, through all of our changes and everything that's going on, that they'll still die, that we can kill them, that they'll hurt us, um, and that they're kind of performing and behaving uh, kind of like we want to. Um, also want to make sure they're all set up with the new help manager and uh, make sure that uh, all the rest of the functionality is, is working with them. Alright guys, so first up is our static monster, brown guy right here. Uh, let's just make sure that his kind of functionality is working kind of as designed. Um, he should be, I believe, versus all the other monsters. He's the simplest, uh, but let's go ahead and, and see what happens. So, it will play, there we go. So, makes contact with player, it's hurting us, uh oh, got another monster in the way, uh, flying high, okay, so, first test, let's go to second test, shooting the monster, and he, he's destroyed, and he spawns a health pack, so, that's all working. So, we can kill him, he can kill us, and then he's dropping what he's supposed to drop. So the next step is we want to make sure that he can be a prefab. Why? Because we don't want a static monster being all Mr. Lonesome. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that Mr. Static Monster can work as a prefabricated monster so that he can be, we can just make clones and an army of clones of him um, and make sure that that's working. So first thing before we do that, let's go into monster prefab instead of regular monster and just check these things for some errors so die works good drop die uh, I think that's working okay the drop spawn object help pack yep destroy self all this kind of stuff looks like it's looks like it's working let's check the other that's the only FSM on him so he's got a help and then let's make sure that player and his health is working. All right, we can we can customize this a little bit more here in a minute. Um, but let's uh, let's go ahead and delete this static monster, right? And then drag a new one, kind of right onto the scene here, and make sure he's functioning right. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Still hurting us, do, 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 do. and still dying, and still having health packs. So everything looks good with that one. All right. So next one we have is the moving monster. All right, that's going to be this cylinder foe right here. Um, in order to get to him, though, I think I'm going to move the homing monster kind of out of the way. He's kind of been a uh, a strange thorn in my side for, for a while now with his with his uh, bubble. So I'm going to move him out of the way and then Mr. Moving Monster, Green Cylinder, that's what we'll test next. Alright, so I'll hit play. And scoot it over and back and he's moving. And I don't believe he's doing any damage. I'm just kind of moving through him, and then I kind of pop up into the sky just like that, which is not good. So let's see if we can figure out why he's not responding. All right, so the easiest fix for this guy seems to be because he's still untagged. So let's make sure he's tagged as a monster. Um, and then he also has his health with a drop chance and all, so he should be able to kill him. Um, fixing the flying in the air will be a little little more tricky but um, I think he is definitely causing damage to happen with the player and then we can or should be able to shoot and kill him yay okay so that that part works so let's now double check by making moving monster alright we're gonna make him a prefab as well so drag him down here and then delete said moving monster and then add our moving monster back up to his little platform all right so like so test her out one more time 
So yes, he's still hurting us, still sending us flying through the air. Um, <laughs> we'll fix that here directly, and then shooting and still killing him. So everything, everything seems to be working pretty well. Uh, the one thing I want to do, want to check on is his uh, the moving monster prefab. Make sure that his drops are still working. So here is not the moving platform template. We want moving monster prefab. Switch to monster health. And go down to drop chance. And then drop. And yes, what I figured the health pack is saying no because it's now looking for a prefab. So we'll go and have a health pack here. But let's let's upgrade it to a large health pack. Yeah, moving monsters can drop a large health pack. Um, Actually, matter of fact, let's just make it a small health pack. So, m once we change it to a prefab, a lot of times the drops have to be changed into the the prefab drop if they were not already set that way. All right. So, moving right along, we have our moving waypoint monster. I uh, don't need to make a child of that one. So make moving platforms don't need to be children of monsters. Um, moving waypoint monster. That's going to be the guy over on the end down here. Remember, he's pegging off between our pseudo-hidden waypoints. Uh, let's see how he interacts. Let's take our moving monster since he's already uh, been tested a success. Let's go ahead, just go ahead and delete him. So we hit play. On over to the side here and. So, again, going skyward, we will fix this uh, probably in the next one. Um, but apparently the collisions is not, not working. And then the shooting does kill him, though. So let's see if we can't fix this one, too. So first off, moving waypoint monster needs to be tagged as a monster, uh, if it isn't already. Um, next, we have his drop template so let's fix him with a small health pack all right that's working so so far um, and then he's not affecting damage I think with him being tagged as a monster now he should be so let's go to project and make him a prefab and we'll go ahead and delete him and then waypoint moving waypoint monster pop them back into our scene. Send to the origin real quick. There we go. And then pull him back. Scoot his waypoints up a little bit. Test real fast. So damaging now works, and uh, boom, he's dead, and he'll he should do a drop. So that should be should be fully functional. Let me double check on his um, prefab inside of Playmaker. So go to moving monster moving waypoint monster prefab let's uh, make sure that his drop yep is set up got his drop chance okay all this stuff should be set up so he should be pretty pretty good as far as the drops as far as the the, the, the kill and he can definitely hurt the player um, in a later one we're gonna have to redo this so that different monsters can cause different um, damage um, but that'll be that'll be coming up so moving right along we now have the shooting monster all right, shooting monster again needs to be tagged as a monster. So I guess if we make contact with it, it will hurt us. Okay, and then the next thing we need to do, who are you? You are a homing monster. Yes, we will, we will deal with the homing monster a little later. 
it's such a it's such a fiend anyway so here's the shooting monster shooting monster still has his drop chance right has its drop the drop needing to be changed to again a small health if it's going to drop it and then we also have it already spawning prefabs um, for the the shooting part of it so left shoot right shoot so these are the bullets bullet spawn one bullet spawn two um, as far as its uh, points these we're going to change whenever it becomes a, a, a prefab I can already tell um, and then the game object is going to spawn is will be my bullet where it adds the force to it so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and convert this into a prefab so that we can um, go ahead and fix whatever else starts up so here's our shooting monster drag it down shooting monster is now prefabbed go ahead and delete this version of it and then drag it back out just to just to kind of double check things alright so there he is waypoint monster you can be deleted uh, waypoints I don't have them set Let's see here you are a cube trigger alright so uh, what I want to do is make sure y'all are set as a prefab too. So cube triggers, yes, we need you as need you as way, uh, prefabs to build levels with. But no monster it won't matter. All right, so shooting monster right here. Go to playmaker. Make sure I select shooting monster prefab and we want to make sure our again drop small health pack that's working go to FSM2 which should be instead of being FSM2 let's call it um, shooting FSM and come down here and where it says wait that's good left shoot uh, spawn point spawn bullet left let's make sure that it is still um, Yes, I believe it is bullet spawn left. All right, and then you have wait, and then bullet spawn right. Store object in my bullet. I want you to add the force. Uh, where is the create object though? Okay, it's still right at the top. So let's go and give this one a test. They're hurting me slowly, one at a time. Yes, yes. And then I can shoot back at him. And hopefully one of these days, destroy him. All right. So maybe have a small, small, small bug. All right. One issue that I definitely found was that, well, the guy was off center. The second issue has been that, yes, the bullets do hurt. And yes, if I make contact with the monster, he's going to hurt me. This issue I'm running into is that when my bullets hit his bullets, you see there's a re weird backwards reaction going on, right? They come out and then they get collided with. That's because the monster bullet prefab here, make sure I've got set to the prefab, monster bullet prefab, it has a collision event with the player, a collision event with untagged, and a collision event with monster, but it doesn't have anything for the player bullet. Um, so what I need to make sure has happened here is let's just go ahead and copy and then paste action before um, and say on collision untagged and instead I want this to be player bullet and then go ahead and um, die. So now what should happen is that it will eat one of my shots but we won't have this weird kind of collision thing. See how they kind of collide and disappear? So it's almost like the bullets are using, are, are being a shield. Uh, the other way to do this would be to turn those bullets into the triggers or something so that our bullets would just pass through each other or, or that kind of thing. But depending upon how you want the bullets to set up, whether it's shooting grenades or, or anything else, um, you can set them up this way or, or, or a different way. Um, but at the moment, he's now working just fine insofar as he can do, be destroyed, he can damage 
um, and I believe he can also do his um, monster drops. So I would say that the shooting monster is A-OK. -okay. All right, so the last uh, monster I'm going to work on here is going to be that minion of evil, the homing monster, um, the zombie, the, the whatever you want to call this guy. He's a, a major thorn. Um, he also seems like he causes the most like weird glitch problems as well. The cool thing is, is he works, and, and he may he might work a little little too well inside of this, this threshold I've set up for him. Um, but uh, we need to go ahead and do the first thing, which is I want to make sure he's set up as a prefab. All right, I'm going to delete the original. Uh, go to Mr. Homing Monster. There we go. Make sure he is set up as a monster. All right. Go to Playmaker. Go to the said Homing Monster prefab. And let's just double check everything that we can see here real fast. So drop the small health pack. Uh, drop chance does all his thing. He has his health and, and all this kind of stuff uh, And he'll check for hits um, And that's that's what he does. He just homes in and, and does his damage. So let's go ahead and drag him back on So here's said homing monster Just about the zero on the Z Give him a little altitude And now he should fly off into nowhere. Hmm. All right, so the first problem here is with our homing monster, you have it set up for an event, that trigger event, right? So let's go to the homing range. It's on. It's got an on tri trigger enter with the player. Again, let's make sure we're set to the homing monster prefab, right? And in the homing monster prefab, let's make sure that we are set up with the homing range and let's see here let's go two second sure we're set up with the homing range on on player tag enter player and then it needs to send specify game object homing monster uh, so it needs to do its parent right so it's already should already be set up with that but now the problem I ran into was the homing monster itself um, the homing monster prefab once it gets the event, it should home, okay? And it should home in on the player, but the moment it can't find the player. Why? Because it's a prefab, and prefabs can't see the stuff that's already in the scene for whatever reason. So first thing we have to do is have it find, okay? Find the uh, the player. So let's go ahead and have it go to find game object under game object. Add this, and add it at the very top, all right? find it something with the tag of player store it within a variable so let's just call this one variable will be uh, player obj doesn't need to be a float it needs to be a game object so player object game object store player there and then have the target be player object okay so now with this setup okay it should now work all right, let me just double check that the homing one here has that same, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and delete him so we don't have any situation like that. So let's go to homing monster, where are you, homing monster, there we go. So I'll just drag you into the scene, monster, Z of zero, give a little Y rising from the ground there. And homing, yes. Now it's sticking so well that he decides that he wants to throw me into the sky. Um, you can also see where he's he's damaged me and again throw me off the board. So one more time, he homes in. He does do damage if he sticks to me for a moment. There he goes, damaging. Ah, pop me up in the sky again. So I can outrun him. And I can kill him. So, 
there you go that should be how how it's uh working apparently it's still doing an old health kit so we'll fix that here let's go ahead and fix that real fast so homing monster homing monster all right playmaker no 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 all right so the homing monster is set up with a small health pack um, most of the rest of the stuff should work pretty well. So there you go. That's the static, the moving, the moving waypoint, the shooting, and the homing monster. Um, they should now be all set up as prefabs and should be set up inside uh, the, the system and, and working at least uh, mostly reliably well. Um, I have an idea or two for how to uh, make the, that collision thing work a little bit better. We'll get to that in a, in a little bit later video.